Good morning, it's about 9.30, I'm sorry, 9.37 on the 8th of June, 2017. I'm going to be showing you how to check your connection. I'm going to be using a website called 8 times 8 Bank. I'm going to make two different videos. Due to bandwidth usage, I'm going to try to keep it under 10 minutes. And I'm going to show you how to touch your connection in case you get like people like Spectrum, Comcast, Frontier Verizon, all those internet provider. I got this website from Verizon provider, so I'm very thankful for that. And there's another website I'm going to show you in my second video. I'm going to break it up in two parts. So let's get started. So, first thing you want to do is, you want Internet Explorer with Java installed. This would not work on Chrome whatsoever. So let's, you can go to, you can type in run, or for Windows 10 you can type in I Explorer to open the variable, open Internet Explorer. Now what you want to do is I'll get you the URL. It's a website. Please forgive me, I'm gonna put my glasses back on. And sorry about the lighting, it's not the greatest. But you want to type in BOIP test that eight x eight dot com. Don't use Chrome. It will work only in Internet Explorer. So what you want to do is click enter. You hit run. Once up it pops up. You hit seven. Because I have seven people that lives with me with seven phones. So I was testing to see if my internet could run a Verizon extender. They're two hundred forty nine dollars ninety nine cents. It was worth it, but we're not in a position to get to get one right this second. So let's hit apply test to refresh it. You see VIP line simulated seven. So I'm gonna scroll down. Hit no because I don't care about that. This will tell you each each of them. Yep, the satellite is 400 kilobytes per second. Slide the molasses, then one DSLT one. We got right up above here on the good days, but we're sharing internet connection with five, six different devices. So let's hit start test. I won't be surprised if we go past two, three megabytes per second. Can't complain because I live in the country. And the upload speed should be 1.25 if I remember correctly, or be close to it. I hope, yep, not bad. Keep in mind, that Frontier is the only provider that it will work where I live. And if you're able to, if you're at Frontier, see if they have Verizon fi uh, Frontier files because they could go up to 75 megabytes per second up and down. And the highest I see is 150 me megabytes per second up and down. Even if you're at 50. So I'm going to let the test run. When I'm seeing all greens are good, it's when you see yellow or red. You want to call your ISP. ISP means Internet Subscriber Provider. I'm really happy. We live in a country. So 1.2, 1.2. 
Jitter, let me show you what the connections. To get that router extender for my phone, here's a uh, here's what the guy from Verizon told me: COS eighty percent or higher. Mine is about hundred if I remember correctly. I really don't know what COS means. I don't see on the test. Hopefully, you can watch on the second video. Jitter fifteen mega. Mega, mega second or lower. Minus 0 0.1 if I remember correctly, I will show you. If this is higher than 15, it will cause audio issues on calls. Where it sounds like the audio is going in and out or breaking up. Data package loss, less than 25%. 0 0.25, not 25%. If this does not meet those standards run the test few more time you want to ideally run on the ethernet connection the numbers will improve because I'm using wireless which has a lot of interference due to phones microwave I'm in like two rooms over if I go into a room right over there that way I will have no internet connection. So, just run the test a couple of times. That's what the guys are saying. But let me go back to the results. You don't have to use it just for VOIP. I will post the link on the bottom. You need Java. I will post the how to get that. You need Internet Explorer for Windows. I haven't tried on the Mac. Please be. Please, if you know the answer, just comment below. Here's my download speed. My download speed. I want to make sure my IP address isn't displaying. That's why I'm not going to advance. My download speed is 2.84. Megabytes per second high enough to support high quality voice over IP conversation, which includes Google Hangout, Google Voice, they're the same thing, Bonage, Wi Fi calling. I got my phone on Wi Fi calling, but we do have an older phones. People are on older phones like S3, Motorola Droid. Yes, they could support 4Gs, but Motorola S, not Motorola, let me take a step back. Samsung Galaxy S3 doesn't support Wi-Fi calling. That's why I was looking into that optional option. My outload speed is 525 kilobytes per second, which supports high quality voice over internet conversation ba 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 my jitter speed is measured as 1.2 microsecond which indicates that it can produce a constant flow of data okay picture like a line graph like x and y remember for math you see like wave like this if anything above one anything goes below one like a wave goes below one or above one you will lose connection that's why when you see this if it goes up past one or negative one your connection get dropped that's what it means by constant connection flow my package loss was measured 0.0 percent we go to 0 0.25 be fine because like with videos UDP versus CPT UDP is like here here's a package whoops I just dropped something who cares so let's keep doing it CPT like oh let's get the package let's 
Oh crap, I dropped it. So there we go. And they reload. CPT. It's more stable than UDP. UDP is video base. VOIP base, I believe. If I'm wrong, please correct me. So yeah. My MOS score is estimated to be 2. I don't know what that is offhand. So let's let's go click on it. Ah, oh, gives me measurements. Radio quality, standard quality, lower decibel, but I don't have much problem watching YouTube. Once a blue moon, my what you do is reset the box. If you guys are experiencing problems, Normally, if you don't, what you want to do is go to your router, go to your modem, unplug the power cord. Don't hit the switch. Unplug the power cord. Let the capacitor drain the power out for 10 seconds. Capacitor is like a little battery thing that holds the, holds the power. That's why when your capacitor blew, you lose the capability of using your computer, modem, routers, whatever. So you come to 30, or you could do 20, 20, 20. 20 seconds off, then you reset it. It's for the routers only, not modem slash routers, not ADSL modem slash router, don't do that. Because you have to call it, get the password. For Time Warner slash Spectrum, you have to give the equipment its MAC address again. This is for routers only. You can reset your router if that keeps acting up. But in theory, what you want to do is unplug your equipment, count to 20, 10, whatever, and plug it back in, and 99.9% of the time. It works. You want to do that with cable boxes, direct TV, dish, and any of them. Even with computers. Even with this critter. And ideally, you want to reboot your equipment once a week. Computers, uh, you want to do it two times a week. That's just me, though. So. I hope the tutorial helps, and I'll post the second part of the video shortly. See ya. Let me close off the video. And I'll post the link for to get Java.